It does its job. All right, so we're back over here making these custom hubs. Basically have a slot on the back and then this um, hole pattern on the front. These will be broached um, with a hexagon when we're all done. But um, they start with a block. The first operation is to put it in a vise and to cut out this material here. And then Matthew is going to walk us through um, what the second op is and what he had to do to get it to work. So to do the second op, I'm using the fact that these already have the, the holes in them with that hole pattern. So that's a fixture plate that I designed that has the four holes as locating pins. The pins are 2,000 smaller, so 2,000 of an inch smaller than the holes on the actual part. So I just take the pins, line them up, and then just move it down in and find where those pins are. There's almost no slop in it. Then I just need to drive in a couple of quarter 20 screws. We thread milled these on the mill as well. And then these, I'm just going to set using the torque clutch on the drill. So now I'm gonna go through Those are all now set, and we already referenced off of the same point which we made the picture from to ensure that we're at the right spot, and now I just got to click start. Very nice. Less than 10 minutes overall machine time. So. Is that, for, uh, is that per op or both overall? Op. Both, both op. ops combined. The first op is about six and a half minutes, and then the second op is about a minute and a half. Okay. So eight minutes overall, and then I have a bit of setup time with both. Can you show us the cam setup in the computer? Yeah. Okay. Can you go over to my computer? We use Autodesk Inventor combined with Autodesk H Inventor HSM Ultimate, which is the CAM package that you can download for our Inventor. It's made by Autodesk. So this is the second operation, but we'll start with the first operation, which is here. If I go to my setup, we're starting with... In the first operation, yes. you machined it holding the block in the vise, correct? So this yellow box that's showing the stock size that we have. So it's out of three and a half inch by one inch thick bar, and then I'm using three inches of it. So And we use that size because that's all we really had yeah. in stock that is the size that yeah. was we're in the we We're in the middle of a snowstorm right now. We've got about four inches of snow that have dropped in the past four hours. Uh -huh. So we're using what we can. I'm gonna simulate what the machine would do. This is obviously sped up. First, we have to take down the size of that stock. So we're using our face mill to do that. After that, we're roughing out most of the shape using a half inch end mill. So it's just creating most of the geometry that we're looking for. It's keeping a constant load on the tool so that way we can run it as fast as possible. Now it's finishing up all of the horizontal surfaces. Then it finished up that little nub. That's exactly two diameter. Now it's cutting out two little winged notches. These are the exact radius we want and they help us get the screws on for the second operation. Then that last operation was just a quick deeper. So this is what we're left with after the first operation. Now we're gonna go to the fixture. The fixture is just four pins. Again, they're 2007 inch undersize. And then this big center bore is just to hold the um, smaller diameter of the hub. And then we've got four quarter 20 holes. And we just make this out of, and all we have to do with this is we're just making 
The, we're taking some two inch by five eighths bar stock. We're taking four inches of it and we make the fixture. Same idea there. I'll, I'll slow that down. But same idea with this. We're gonna face it off and drill that center bore. And that bore we're drilling undersized. It's a pre-drill hole for my end mill, which will come in to finish that later. Then we're roughing out again with a half inch end mill. And then after this, it's going to again finish up the horizontal surfaces. So you can see that happening so right a now. Finishing pass here. Yeah, a little finishing pass. This just gets our okay. surface. Then that was just boring out that with an eight with a three eighths end mill. And then we drill and then thread mill our four quarter twenty holes. Thread milling is slower than tapping, and we do have a rigid tapping capable machine. But the thread milling lets us get deeper and it lets us get a tighter, stronger thread. So very nice. Followed by again just a little chamfer. Then that leaves us with our fixture. And now that we've got the fixture, we can now set our part up on here. So I'm just using four quarter 20 button head screws and all these are doing is just holding that little edge. Okay. These notches that you can kind of see, these were, that, this is where the two little winged areas were machined out in the first operation. So okay. the diameter already exists along that radius, but it doesn't exist here. Okay. And we haven't machined out this cavity yet. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in with tool eight. We're going to use that half inch hole we drilled. And what is tool eight? Tool eight for us is a three eighth inch three fluid end mill. Okay. Flat end mill. Flat end mill. And we're just going to come in using that half inch hole that we drilled earlier in the first okay. operation. So if we come in, it takes a second for an inventor to load it up, but we come in. And that spiral again just keeps our constant tool load. So it'll machine that out. And after this, we do have a bit more stock than the model shows currently. That's why there's such long lead ins on the okay. finish pass on that wall. Then we come in, and all this is doing here is it's just cleaning up this outside radius that we didn't get in the first operation. Because okay. if we had cut it all out in the first operation, it wouldn't have been held in the vise. Then we just follow that with a quick deburring op, so that way we have less work to do by hand later. And there's our part. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the machine. It should be done by now, huh? See the four locating pins? They just sit five thou below the surface. And then we still have that center hole. It's not going to be a hex yet, but we're going to broach them with our arbor press. But you can see where all the screws are. And then, yeah. Nice work. Nice work.